Today I want to talk about a subject that I have seen a lot of lately, especially on social media, injuries, training related injuries. Um, I scroll on TikTok and there's a lot of bodybuilding stuff on TikTok. I don't know if it's people trying to do PR workouts or it's the social media. I got to look my best because I'm videotaping this for TikTok or Instagram. I want a million views. So you see these people, they got the camera set up and it's perfect. And then they go and they get under this weight and they get under it. This guy was squatting. He picks up this weight and it looks way, way more than his body is physically of handling. He gets under the weight and all of a sudden he starts teetering back and forth. His head goes up and boom, he passes out. Then there's the guy who gets under the bench press. I think it was an incline press. And he doesn't even look like he can bench 405. Luckily for him, the only smart thing he did after he got his phone set up in a perfect position was he had three spotters. One on each side of the bar, one behind him. He brings that bar down. It's coming down nice and slow, nice and controlled. Looks good, looks good. All of a sudden on the upward push, he's pushing the entire pec muscle tears off of the bone. He comes sliding out underneath that bench. I cringed, cringed when I saw that. What is wrong with you people? Why are you training with this weight that's way, way more than you could ever handle? To do what? That one rep? Look at me, look at me. I'm on social media bench pressing a thousand pounds. Who gives a rat's ass? You have now ruined yourself. Those injuries you could never come back from. Surgery can only repair it. It's like taking a rubber band, cutting a rubber band in half, and then taking a stapler and stapling the two pieces back together. That's what those injuries are when they get repaired surgically. They're fixes so that you could function in society. You're never going to get back underneath that barbell. You're never going to get back underneath that squat rack, especially if you blow your knees out quadricep tendon tears, patella tendon tears, you're finished. People, train smarter, not harder. Train with a weight that you can handle for controlled repetitions. Forget this social media stuff. And honestly, I see it with the younger crowd because the younger crowd is more of the, I got a, so, I got a million followers on social media. You know what that means to me? It's like being a millionaire in Monopoly. It means absolutely nothing. You know what? Look at me on social media. You ruined yourself. You've blown your biceps out. I saw a kid on a preacher bench. I th I, it might have been 120 pound preacher bar curls. I don't even do that. He gets down there. He goes to curl this bar up and all of a sudden the bicep freaking peels up on both arms. You're finished. Your career is done if you ever wanted to be a competitive bodybuilder. And even with the repair, it's never the same. Just look at some of the top pros that have had muscle tears. Now, I can understand muscle tears on someone of that caliber. Top pros are training. They're training with such intensity every so often. They're going to have an injury that can be devastating. It's happened to Dorian Yates. It's happened to Jay Collins. It's happened to a lot of guys, Tom Platts. But look at the difference in the type of training Look at the years that these guys have in the gym compared to what you're seeing on social media. Wake up, people. Train smarter, not harder. If you ask any of the people I've coached, you're going to hear it from them that he says it all the time. Train smarter, not harder. You got to get better before you get bigger. It's time in the game. Put the cameras down in the gym. You don't need your phones taking selfies. Look at me. Look at me. Put your head in the game train and get the best workout you can get. Peace out, everybody. Have a good day. I hope I got my point across. I didn't do this to embarrass or humiliate anybody, but these injuries are devastating. You guys have a good day.